brisk March evening in 1980 held a chill that bit into the quaint town of Newton, New Hampshire, as Rachel Garden, a vivacious 15-year-old, walked towards the unknown. Born on December 30, 1964, Rachel was the eldest of four, her life woven with the threads of family bonds and youthful rebellion. Described as fun-loving and friendly, Rachel's spirit occasionally clashed with the rules set by her parents. Headstrong and outspoken, she would vent to friends about the constraints that encircled her teenage world. Yet, beneath the rebellious exterior, she was a good kid, her heart dancing with the rhythm of her own youthful beat. At Sanborn Regional High School, where she was a freshman, Rachel would sometimes skip classes to indulge in forbidden pleasures with fellow students in the woods near Maple Avenue. When not at school, she found solace in the company of her beloved horse, a loyal companion in the chaos of adolescence. Then came the evening of March 22, 1980. Rachel, a familiar face at Rose Corner Market, walked in, her steps imprinted with a sense of routine. Chewing gum and a pack of cigarettes exchanged hands, marking a transaction that would cast a shadow over the town. The market's owner claimed he saw Rachel depart the store sometime between 9 and 9.30 p.m., walking north on Main Street. Her destination was a friend's house down the road, a plan that would never materialize, and one that her friend was unaware of. The night swallowed her presence, leaving an eerie void. The morning of March 23rd unfolded with an ominous silence. Rachel's absence gnawed at her mother's heart, prompting a call to the police around 10 a.m. Helicopters circled overhead, scouts scoured the woods, and a mother's desperate search yielded no trace. The town, with its limited police resources, grappled with the mystery. Initial suspicions of a runaway dissolved in the face of witnesses claiming to have seen Rachel with three men of questionable reputation. One would later serve time in prison for rape and assault. Allegedly, while at a bar in Haverhill, Massachusetts, one of the men confessed to killing Rachel. While specifics about this confession have not been released, it did prompt investigators to dig up a site off Route 108, beside a stone wall and a stream. However, no remains or evidence were found. In 1989, the State Major Police Crime Unit excavated a 60-square-foot patch of woods in Newton, but no evidence was recovered. In 2008, police searched Ice Pond and Country Road using sonar equipment, and divers spent two days searching Country Pond. Other tips have come in over the years, but nothing has led to fruition to date. The theories spiraled. Did Rachel run away, or did foul play entangle her fate? The shadows deepened as online sleuths connected her disappearance to that of Laureen Ron, and the whispers of serial killers lurking in the periphery. Amidst the theories, a chilling possibility emerged. The last person to see her alive, the shop owner of Rose Corner Market, had a haunting past. A convicted murderer from 1970, he had relocated to Newton and opened Rose Corner Market. Online comments hinted at a lingering unease and a nauseating smell that remained unexplored. In the aftermath, Rachel's classmates, unaware of the tragedy, assumed she'd moved or dropped out. The passage of time cast a shroud over the memories of a spirited teenager lost to the night. As the years flowed on, Rachel's mother guarded her heart, reluctant to speak of the ache that lingered. The case, though cold, remains open, a silent plea for answers. The missing posters may have faded, but the desire for resolution persists. Rachel was 15 years old, five feet one inch tall, and weighed 100 pounds at the time of her disappearance. She has light brown hair and hazel eyes and has pierced ears. She was last seen wearing a two-toned blue ski parka, a plaid shirt with silver threads, blue jeans, and brown lace-up shoes. She was carrying a dark blue tote bag with the word things imprinted on one side. If anyone holds the key to unraveling the mystery of Rachel's disappearance, they are urged to contact the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office or the Newton Police Department. 
The echoes of a rebellious teenager's laughter should not be drowned out by the silence of uncertainty.